Hi everyone and welcome to Heather Carlson Psychic Medium. Today is January 11th and I uh, felt that I needed to uh, do a reading today for everyone because there's some pretty amazing energy happening today. Many of you will connect with, you know, when you see 1111 or 111, it, it sort of makes us feel good. It has, a, it has different meanings for different people, but it can mean that angels are watching you or for me, it's always that you're on the right path. It's a confirmation that you are where you're supposed to be. So today's a pretty auspicious and special day and I felt compelled to do a reading um, for myself, which I did earlier, but uh, then I felt a, um, that I needed to do a video for everyone too. And, and I apologize that I haven't followed up, but I will be getting on that regularly soon. So I am using a new deck that I was gifted over the holidays. I absolutely love it. It's called Everyday Tarot. I'm probably going to do a review video next because I absolutely love this deck. Um, and they're quite small. They're actually designed for a tarot reader like me that can carry them around with me. Um, but uh, these just jumped at me today. So I, I didn't mean to get four cards, but I did. So the first one that jumped is the Knight of Cups, if you guys can see that. And Cups is your suit with, you know, emotions, relationships, communication. And the Knight of Cups can be seen two different ways. It's, you know, it can, it's traditionally talked about sort of romance, that knight in shining armor, getting swept off your feet. But it's also a card that talks about, you know, love and finding that place and finding that joy and that happiness and that peace and connections with others. So this is really a time that we need to focus on those, the importance of those connections and the validity and the value of those connections to all of us. And so I felt like this was really suited. Again, it could be a romantic but it doesn't have to be. Um, and when you see the other cards, you'll understand the context. You could take it one of two ways, whichever resonates with you. So the next one that jumped out at me, I loved, is the Ace of Wands. And Wands is the suit that is movement and, you know, going ahead. It's passion and energy and creativity and, you know, imagination and ideas. And Ace of Wands, Aces are always new beginnings, but particularly for the Ace of Wands, you know, right now we are, you know, this says that we're just brimming with all these, you know, ideas and, you know, things going on in our heads. We're excited. It's just bubbling over right now. You know, this is the perfect opportunity. You know, January 11th, use that 111 energy, um, you know, to start new things. And it's an amazingly powerful day to set new intentions and new goals. And that's exactly what this card is saying. You know, if there's that crazy idea or something you want to achieve this week, this month, this year, today is the day to focus on it and put it into motion. Um, again, I particularly in my readings, I tend to see this as new um, ventures, entrepreneurship, particularly for women and new business opportunities. I tend to have this card come up in my particular readings. So if you've got some crazy idea or a way you want to expand what you're doing, this is a card that says, you know what, today you need to seriously consider it and put that plan into motion. Next on the opposite end, the one, and this jumped out, really jumped out at me, was the Nine of Swords. Swords is our mental health, our clarity, our decision making. It's all the things that are going on in our mind, you know, ideas and thoughts. But in this case, it's our fears and our worries. This is a card that says you have got to let all that negative concern and, you know, self-sabotage you know, a lot of us, the last few weeks energy, we've really been messing with ourselves in our heads. And this is the card that says it's time to let it go. Nine is coming to the end of a completion of a cycle. So use this day, January 11th, your 111 energy to release it and let it go. Stop having the doubt. Stop getting obsessed with the, the can'ts and the buts, um, you know, this is stop obsessing with the how. Know that it's going to happen, those ideas and new connections that we just spoke of, and just release it and let it go. And the last one um, is the lover's card. 
So again, I said those there was two connotations to the way this reading was going. So it can be new relationships, new love, new connections, um, you know, but it also can be and they, you know, they can be romantic. They can be um, friendships, family, but also and the way I tend to be getting this is and I think this is actually the more important one. Yes, it's romantic for some, but to me, the more important message for all we're really on a journey of self-love, of being happy with ourselves, of finding our own strength and knowing that we are enough, that we are wonderful, that we are full of love and that we have that to give to other people and that we are worthy. So in combination, really, the four cards are talking about sort of finding our, you know, finding our... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? You know, finding our passion and chasing it, get it moving, use the energy of today to go ahead, get the ball rolling, put that foot on that gas pedal and let go all of the stuff that's going on in our minds that we're torturing ourselves with, that we're worrying about the fears, the anxiety, you know, the, the self the put downs, etc. I think a lot of us over the past few weeks, things, you know, our intuition has been telling us that things are good and that we are on the right path. And yet a lot of people, and I'm hearing this in my readings, a lot of us have been struggling with what's going on in our head and we're twisting it. This is the card that says it is time to let that go and then get into a position of just coming from positive, just coming from a place of love, just coming from a positive place within ourselves. That is the way to have an amazing path with both our own personal journey and our own um, selves, but also with others. So I hope that you have an amazing day. Use this beautiful energy of uh, 111 to manifest and you know anything that you set forth and in, and put your intentions and goals down today is going to be extremely powerful and it means that you can make it happen you already could but sometimes we need that extra little boost to uh to know that we can make our dreams and our amazing wonderful lives come true so hope everybody has an amazing day. I will be back soon with more videos. Love and blessings and gratitude to all of you and take care. Bye-bye.